counting numbers forward and backward. Hello kids! In the previous video, you learned to read numbers in ones and tens. Also, counting numbers by ones and tens. So let's see what you will learn in this lesson. So in today's video, we will learn what is moving forward and what is going backwards. Along with this, we will also learn how to count one step forward and one step backwards in numbers. Alright? Today, Chotu played a game at school. And right now, he is telling his mother about the same thing. Mom, you know what? In this game, ma'am asked us to jump a step forward and a step backwards. When she asked to jump backwards, we were supposed to jump backwards. And when she asked to jump forward, then we were supposed to jump forward. You know? Okay, Chotu. Now, can you jump a step forward from the place you are standing right now? Yes, mom. Wow, Chotu. And now jump a step backwards. Can you again jump a step backwards? Yes, mom. Well done, Chotu. Kids, did you see how Chotu jumped a step forward and then backwards? Can you tell whether this frog is jumping forward or he's jumping backwards? Yes, you are absolutely right. This frog is jumping forward. And this is called jumping backwards. Chotu, just like you were jumping forward and backward in your class, do you know it can be done with numbers too? How is that, mom? Look at these stairs that I have drawn. On these stairs, I have written numbers from 1 to 15. Will you go and stand on number 4, Chotu? Okay, mom. Chotu, can you jump one step forward from the number 4 now? Okay, mom. Which number did you reach now? Mom, on jumping one step forward from number 4, I reached number 5. You are absolutely right, Chotu. And now, jump one step forward. Chotu, so which number did you reach now? Mom, on jumping forward from number 5, I've reached number 6. Yes, Chotu, you are right. Now you go and stand on number 13. Okay, Mom. And now you jump backwards from number 13. Chotu, which number did you reach now? On jumping backwards from number 13, I have reached number 12. Yes, Chotu, you are right. When we go back from a number, it is counting a number lesser or it is called backward counting. And when we move forward from a number, it is counting a number greater or it is also called forward counting. Hey, hi again kids. I am back. And here you saw how we can count forward and backward from a number. You can see here a number backward from 2 is 1 and forward from 2 is 3. A number backward from 8 is 7 and a number forward from 8 is 9. So kids, that is all for today and in this video you've learnt what is moving forward or forward counting and going backwards or backward counting is and you have also learnt how to count one step forward and one step backwards In the next video, we will see some interesting examples of forward and backward counting. Till then, bye-bye kids!
interesting examples of forwards and backwards. Counting. Hey, hello kids. I am Parrot. In the previous video, you learned what is moving forward and going backwards, right? And how to count one step forward and also how to count one step backwards in numbers. Today in this video, we will see some very interesting examples of counting numbers forward and also backwards. Today Chhotu has gone to the park to play with his sister Pinky. When they reached there, they saw a ladder hanging from a tree and a monkey playing on it. They started watching the monkey play. Kids, we have written the numbers 1 to 10 on the ladder. Then it will be easier to see how the monkey is playing. Look Chotu, the monkey first jumped on the third step of the ladder and then moved a step forward, right? So kids, can you tell on jumping from the third step of the ladder where would have the monkey reached? Can you tell? Let's see. And now he has reached the fourth step of the ladder. Chotu, now he has leaped his way to the ninth step. Can you see? Pinky, see. He has taken a step back. So on which step is he now? The step before the ninth step on the ladder is the eighth step. So it means he has reached the eighth step, right Chotu? So kids, did you see how the monkey is jumping forward and backward? At first, he was on the third step from which he jumped a step forward. So he reached the fourth step, right? Then he went to the ninth step and jumped a step backward. So he reached the eighth step. Today Chotu is going to his new friend Sham's house. Come, let's see. Sham told me that his house number is 24. Right now I am in front of 21. So kids, do you know how far from here is Sham's place? Come kids, let's see. The number after 21 is 22. After 22 is 23. And after 23 is 24. Oh wow, there is Sham's place. Chotu reached Sham's place and both of them started playing. After some time, Chotu left Sham's house and started going to his own house. Hey kids, do you remember that when Chotu came from his own place to Sham's house, what all house numbers did he see? That's right, he saw numbers 21, 22, 23 and then 24. Now that he is going back, he left from house number 24. The number before it is 23. The number before it is 22. And one house before that is 21. So kids, did you see that 21 is followed by numbers 22, then 23 and then 24. And then going backwards comes 23, then comes 22 and then comes 21. Hey hi kids and I am back but that's it for today. Today we saw interesting examples of forwards and backwards counting. I hope you understood this topic perfectly kids. Okay, bye for now.